Welcome back to Maria's Kitchen. I am so excited to be here with you today. It is summer here in California and it is going to reach 99 degrees this week. So I was thinking that how about a nice cool refreshing salad in a jar. And so I'm going to show you how to make this. It's got quinoa, it's got grilled chicken chunks, and it's got a lot of other ingredients that I'm going to go over with you. But first of all, we are going to get the dressing started and I'll be back to show you how to put it all together. The very first thing you're going to do even before you start this salad is you're going to cook your quinoa. And you're just going to cook it according to the package directions and it's very simple. Quinoa is gluten-free and high in protein and one of the few plant foods that contains sufficient amounts of all of the nine essential amino acids. So I chose to put this in with the grilled chicken into the salad. So I already cooked this, cooled it, and I have already put it in here and measured it out because we are going to be using half a cup. So as I go over all the ingredients, I'll tell you the amounts and they'll also be in the bottom of the description area. So the very first thing we're going to do is we are going to make the dressing for the salad. So you will need a half cup of cilantro. You will need right under a fourth cup of fresh squeezed lime juice, which is approximately two limes. If you don't have limes, you can use the lime juice in the small container. You're going to need, now I'm going to go over the spices with you and they're all in here. You're going to need a fourth teaspoon of garlic powder, but now if you want to use fresh garlic, you can. And so it's up to you. I'm using the powder today. You're going to need a half a teaspoon. I actually cut it down to a quarter because I'm not too much of a fan of cumin. So I put um, a fourth teaspoon of cumin, a fourth teaspoon of chili powder, a fourth teaspoon of salt, and a fourth teaspoon of pepper. And now I'm pouring that all in here because we're gonna make the dressing. I'm going to put a heaping tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, and I'm going to put one Spoon, heaping spoon of the Mexican family. Ooh, I love this stuff. It's gonna make it nice and creamy. I think that is it, and I'm gonna go blend it, and I'll be back to show you what it looks like. I'm back on, and the dressing is done. I and mean, look how beautiful that looks. Oh, it's so pretty and delicious. And this is going to go on the bottom. I'm gonna get every little bit of it. But there it is, and it goes right here, how beautifully on the bottom, right on the bottom where the quinoa is going to go on top of the dressing and soak up that wonderful dressing. And then I also have, you'll go ahead and put the little extra in a little container like this so you can put some more salad dressing on top of the salad when we tip it over. I'll be right back. So I've already rinsed and cleaned my mason jar and so it's ready to go, it's dried. And I'm gonna use a funnel for the dressing. Let's see how it works. And you're gonna save a little bit of the dressing because I wanna let you know that you're gonna save some to put in a little container like this for the salad. So let's see how this goes. I'm gonna do it in the center. You want it to fall right in the center so it looks really nice. And I'm gonna save about this much. And there we've got that. Put this aside, ooh, and we're gonna put the quinoa. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it a little this way. I wish I had a mason jar uh, funnel, but I've got to get that. And I'm gonna get it towards the front because we want it to look pretty and we could always scoot it back. So let me, we've got more in there. Okay, we're gonna scoot it around with a little spatula. And how does it look? Let me look. How does it look there, cameraman? Ooh, it looks pretty. Okay, the very next thing you're going to do is get some tomatoes. And we're going to get those on top. 
I've got like about a five or six cherry tomatoes sliced up and we've got the cherry tomatoes and if you want to look pretty you can set them how you want okay the next thing we're going to do is our uh, corn and here it goes and you can this is about a half cup now if you want to lessen it and put a lot more greens you can put about a, a fourth to a half cup so you pick and choose I just want to make sure it shows so I'm going to turn this out of yep looks good okay the next thing we're going to do is our black beans and I rinsed and drained the black beans and the corn you know you want extra stuff that's in the can the preservatives or whatever's in the can so I rinsed and drained them very well and so there, oh, how pretty. Look at, we've got the black beans, which are excellent protein, high in fiber. And that is so awesome. We're gonna do the scallions. And now if you want to change up the onions, you can also do pretty sliced uh, purple onions because they look real pretty. And I love those onions too. This is kind of, I hope we got some. Is it showing in the front cameraman? Yes. Okay. And then the very next thing we're going to do is we're going to do our half cup to a fourth cup of the shredded cheese. And let's see how that's going. Ooh, I love cheddar cheese. It's going to give it a really good. And just scoot it around with this cute little spatula. And I have to take a peek and look how it's looking. You guys are, I'm looking, I'm in the back and you're in the front. And so the very next thing we're going to do is the chicken. I hope I'm doing this right. I think I am. But I'm going to have to use my hands to guide it in a little. And there we've got it. And the last thing you're going to do is pack maybe about I don't know, I'd say about a cup of spring mix that has already been pre-washed. And I'm just gonna top it in there. Depends how much you want. You can put a whole bunch and press it down, but there it is. Look at how beautiful that is. And you could just take this to work and then you're just gonna pour it out. We'll be back to set it up for you and we're gonna pour it out. I'll be right back. I'm back and I've got it all set up. And I'm so excited. I just want to let you know that I think that this will pair very well with this healthy salad. And I made a lime cucumber agua fresca. And so I'm going to pour this because I want to set it up because I'm going to have lunch and my husband. So, oops. <laughs> and mm, you've got to make this. It's so refreshing and so delicious. Okay, so here we go. dressing you can but I'm going to try it how does it look look how beautiful and all the spices are in there already so here it goes I'm gonna go ahead and try it and let you know how it is okay mmm that cilantro lime dressing with all the spices just is so amazing with this and the chicken and the quinoa that soaked up all that <laughs> mm, that dressing i want to thank you so much for spending time with me you have got to make one of these for the summer you're gonna love it it tastes amazing and i want to let you know you want to make this too because it's so delicious Cucumber soap, 
hydrating for the summer and I want to thank you and come back again to Maria's Kitchen and I'll come back with some more healthy recipes for you. Bye. Abundance and Prosperity Confessions. I will prosper and be in good health as my soul prospers. I will not lack for you are my shepherd and I shall not want. Psalms 23 1. Lord prosper me and let me have abundance. Lord your El Shaddai the God of more than enough. Give me everything I need to fulfill my destiny and let me have more than I need. Lord, you became poor that through your poverty I might be rich. Lord, let me not lack any good thing for I delight myself in you. Lord, you give me the desires of my heart for I seek you. Lord, I put first your kingdom and your righteousness and all these things are added to me. Lord, bless my coming and my going out. Lord, let me be blessed in the city and blessed in the field. Thank you for your blessings, Lord.